Welcome back to Hermitcraft Amplify. All right. Been doing a little bit of work on the farm facility here, and I've got most of it pretty much done. Uh, well, I still have to finish with the ceiling. Oh, looky, we have an Enderman in here. You know, he can help me demonstrate the uh, harvesting system. Just flip the lever right here, and some pistons activate, the water flows, and the Enderman has to leave. Isn't that wonderful? No good Enderman like a gone one. All right, so got this thing all set up. I've got some glowstone in the ceiling. I'm going to finish filling that in with glass and probably some more glowstone. I haven't quite worked out where it's all going to go. I decided to go with a really simple piston thing to uh, release water streams for the harvesting and I did remember to add an additional bit down here for overflow of items that I'm not filtering should anything happen in there or drop or whatever in any event redstone sigma comes along here travels up here and then I've got a little access way here for inspection or maintenance or what have you. Water, sticky pistons, they pull the blocks out down there and the water flows. Flip the lever the other way, pistons fire up and it closes the system back down. Nice and easy. Now, I could have gone, I was thinking about going with somewhat more fancy setups, but I've had so much trouble with uh, Redstone trying to put things like that together that I decided to never mind to just go with a very basic, very simple Redstone setup for that. Now, there is more work to be done up here. I do want to have these materials pumped up here into chests where they will be accessible without having to go downstairs. But for the time being, all I need to do is get some uh, hoeing done and some planting and so on. And I will be getting to that stuff off camera because uh, nobody wants to watch hoeing. I'm sure this is driving you nuts. And anyway, yeah. In the meantime, there is a little bit more serious matter to deal with. So let's put that up here. Okay, I'll put it in here along with the carrots and potatoes and seeds that I'll be planting there. And let me put my glowstone away. All right. We have some serious business to deal with. It seems that TEA has been terrorizing a number of people. And it's time to take a stand against the TEA. And what better way for to take a stand against tea than with coffee? Absolutely. And uh, I want to say that I appreciate very much the input provided by folks on the Hermitcraft G+. Without that input, this would have been a lot more difficult. In any event, I will catch up with you at our first stop. All right, here we are. Our first stop along the way, Ethos Place. Yeah. It's amazing some of the stuff that he has accomplished and built and yeah the tea eaters have been here and base report and they taking 
points off for all sorts of things, including a complete lack of T, 8 million points, and the base score is Lemon. Oh, man, that's terrible. It, that's just, just really, really awful. But, okay, let's see, let's just, no, I don't want to put that out, okay, uh, right there, and, yeah, we have a little something here, and this is what we're putting in there. Have you been inspected by the TEA? Have they found fault with design choices or incomplete projects, deducting mi mysterious points along the way? Coffee is here to help. Coffee, not to be confused with Conspiracy of Fishy Electric Engineers, a subsidiary of Latte, League Against Treacherous Tea Eaters, has been founded to execute covert operations for freeing everyone else. Take a stand against the insidious evil that is the TEA. Join coffee today. What helps you wake up and feel ready to face the day? Coffee. The choice of people everywhere who want to sit back and relax after a hard day of mining, crafting, and building. Coffee doesn't judge you. Instead, it tells you, yeah, you deserve a break today. Please accept this handcrafted coffee mug and a sample of the finest premium coffee blade coffee beans, grown and hand-picked by Juan Valdez himself. It's time for a coffee break. Brew up a mug full and relax. There you go. Now, that sounds to me, I, I, I would say that's a uh, good invitation. Oh, let's see. Uh, this isn't going to be symmetrical, is it? I didn't think about that. We'll put the like so, and this can just be there. All right, great. Now, let's get a sign on here. Down with the, TA, the TEA. There you go. Coffee has struck it. So, yeah. Now, we're off to make another stop. All right, here we are. Out here at Mumbo's place. And I'll tell you what. Every time I look at this place, it is amazing. Really awesome. And I got to tell you. Redstonius Buggerus? I mean, please, come on. You did not even. Oh, man. Redstonius Buggerus. Who's, what are they, they going to come up with next? Oh, man. Am I short of... Uh, I stopped along the way to put some things away, and I went to... Uh, I apparently put away the chests, and I don't have any wood in there either. Oh, blast it all. Okay, there's plenty of trees around here. Let's just go grab one. Get out here a little ways so that I'm not messing up a build or anything like that. I wouldn't want to do that. There we go. Yeah, I put the chests away, but I didn't put my axe away. Isn't that awful? Ridiculous. Totally. Now, where did I pick up this crafting table? I'm telling you. I am... Not exactly the most organized in the world today, am I? All right. Now, let's 
get down to the business that we came here for. Well, I say we, but I'm the one that came here. You guys are just kind of along for the ride. But it's a good ride, so why not? All right. Let's drop a chest. And we include our coffee book. A coffee mug. Some premium coffee beans. And some anti-TEA propaganda. And some anti-TEA literature. Yeah. And yes, I forgot to do that at Ethos Place, so I'm going to have to go back there and do that. All right. So I'm going to take care of that, and then we've got one more stop to make. Let's see. Okay. Pressure plate. All right. I will see you at our next stop. All right. Here we are. Out here at this awesome place of slips. This is an amazing place. Oh, yeah. Look at that coming into view. That is amazing. I'll tell you what. That is truly amazing. All right. Let's get down here. Okay, not the greatest landing in the world, but it'll do. Alright, let's just stop up here at the Fulcrum. Yeah, this is a great place. You know, I don't think I've actually been here before. Oh, man. Alright, let's drop a chest. And we have our coffee mug. We have our premium coffee beans. We have our anti-TEA propaganda, and we have our anti-TEA literature, yes, and we have our sign. Whoops. We also have our coffee book. Yes, can't forget that. All right, sign. Down with the TEA. There we go. Yeah. Slip got hit pretty bad by the TEA. And coincidentally, right about the same time, there was a massive outbreak of chicken vermin all over the place. And I'm glad to see that... Uh, that problem's been taken care of. Oh, no, it hasn't. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at all this vermin. Are you somehow breeding in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't have all that vermin going around. I mean, chickens are filthy. Didn't anybody ever tell anyone that? They are, if you'll excuse the pun, foul creatures. All right. Now, uh, let's see, I believe up here, over here someplace, isn't there a, uh, oh, God, another vermin. Ugh. Disgusting. Anyway. Ah, here we go. I think. This looks like the way out. <laughs> anyway, I will find the way out and proceed on about my business, having delivered my literature. And we'll see what happens with the TDA. They're up to no good, I tell you. They're totally up to no good. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.